Despite rapidly taking control of Afghanistan, the outline of the emerging Taliban cabinet remains unclear. The organization's spokesman indicated that they'd soon form a government, but offered few details other that they would connect with all sides. In the capital on Wednesday, several Taliban leaders met with former government officials, with the Taliban holding all the cards after their rapid takeover of the country. On the left is Hamid Karzai, Afghanistan's president from 2001 to 2014. On the right, Taliban commander Anas Haqqani. Ousted ex-president Ashraf Ghani said he supports the negotiations. All eyes are now on the Taliban's co-founder and now political leader, Abdul Ghani Baradar, who returned from Afghanistan from Doha on Tuesday, ending 20 years of exile. But regardless of the cabinet composition of the future regime, governing a nation is difficult without funding. With most of the financial assets held outside Afghanistan, this potentially puts them out of reach. So far, it's estimated that the Taliban has mainly funded itself through the opium trade, drug trafficking and extortion. According to the governor of the Afghan Central Bank, the Taliban today only have access to 0.1 or 0.2 percent of their total international reserve, which he estimates to hold about $9 billion. Some states, such as Germany and the U.S., have already frozen their developmental aid. The International Monetary Fund suspended Afghanistan's access to its reserves on Wednesday, and with international aid frozen for the most part, bankrolling the new regime may not be an easy task.